Hello from Bear River. It's still September 15th and I'm up river just a bit from the first video. This is the willow where oftentimes the water comes around both of them. And this is the little canal that goes up the river and it's barely connected right now, but it's a big old pond thing. And it goes to the base of this hill um, adjacent to the floodplain and on along the hillside with water in it or riparian vegetation in it. And um, this is where miners dug up three full-size cottonwood trees. And, you know, I, I understand sustainable use and multi-use and all that. But um, when we had the meeting um, for Bear River Park, they came in full force. They come from all over the country. It's uh, getting to be less and less places where you can um, do the kind of things they do and they were upset at over on the American because all they can do is shovel into pans and pan and here they can use sluice boxes where actually they would like to dredge but they aren't allowed to so they got sluice boxes and they want to camp there at the group camp you know and have their people but you know this is what I'm talking about they dug up three full-size cottonwood trees digging at the bank killed them and then they finally fell down while they continued to dig. And then um, somehow the, the trees are gone. It was probably the high water um, in January of this, this year. Um, and that's the kind of stuff that pisses me off. And I'd walk by and I'd look at them and they'd go, yeah, so what? What you going to do? You know, and I can't do anything. I'm just another person here. And um, in a lot of ways, um, the digging in this uh, debris from the gold mining era has actually created microenvironments for the willows. It's uh, chopped up the cobble and making it um, more into sand quicker. I mean, all these people stomping around here have really made a difference in the terrain. The plants have been able to take hold. But it really upset me when they dug the bank out from under three full-size grown cottonwood trees. It was, it was very uh, upsetting. But, you know, I didn't do anything because there's nothing I could do. And um, Bear River is very forgiving. I mean, it's been nailed time and again for, you know, decades. This place has stood up to the worst kind of abuse you can imagine. And then NID was finally just going to do it in by uh, inundating the entire area and creating a, a biological desert like they did under Rollins and Combi. So... You know, this is good, and any little bit we can get is great. And this river itself creates so much living natural habitat that the lives of three cottonwood trees is probably fairly insignificant. But the blatant disregard for the environment really got me. And that, yes, there was once three cottonwood trees there. And this is the bank they dig on this stuff. And the thing that, another thing they do that upsets me is they get into the beaver pond. I'll show you when we go over there. And they dig out the, the banks. And they actually go down in the creek with crowbars and move boulders. And they have these suction things and scuba diving equipment to get to this gold. So I can only imagine the bewilderment of the native people that people would be so insane and go to such lengths to collect little shiny gold stuff that had absolutely no value to the native people. So it's it's kind of a fascinating history in a in a uh, I don't want to say collision, but maybe it was a collision um of worlds, of world views, of uh priorities. Um in the native world from what I can imagine nature was foremost and first and um we were here as stewards. Uh, to do what we can for our precious nature and precious water. And the opposite is true of the capitalization extraction industries that run our reality these days. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm looking at this pool of little fish, and there's so many right here. And I think they're enjoying the sun, and they're probably going to move when I come close. So I'll just go like this and see if the, their movements can be seen. And they're, um, they look to be a couple inches, an inch to two inches in length, and they're enjoying this little area here. And out a bit is a slightly bigger fish. So, yeah, 
this is their microenvironment that they are utilizing here on Bear River. So, so much going on, and there's the emerging wetland over there with the groundwater and the surface water in contact. And that's, I think, the key to life around here is the water cycle intact. Oh, Matakwe awesome. More later.